Hey, what's up, Pure Arts fans? Welcome to another unboxing, another review. Today, we're doing one that is very much anticipated by you guys, and it is Ezio. Now, I know Ezio, full name, Ezio Auditori de Firenze, is a big piece. You guys have been waiting a really long time for this. And today, this week, we received our production sample. So we are gonna crack this open. We're gonna show you guys uh, how this is set up, the incredible base that this comes with, uh, as well as all new packaging. We've got a new packaging design on this guy to help protect the extremely delicate parts uh, of the base. So uh, without further ado, let's get this baby open, but do not forget before I go, before we start opening this up, make sure that you hit that like button, smash, destroy that like button, help us build the channel. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, all right, let's get started. So first up, we're gonna crack open the box. As always, another giant box. This thing weighs well over 40 pounds. It actually feels heavier than the Altair and the Bayek that we've already opened. So this thing is giant. So let's get this down off of here and uh, let's see what's inside. This thing is giant. And push. All right, take the bag off. So this time we've gone with the, uh, the red and white pattern. And again, with the Animus effect going on over here, but another beautiful box. Simple, but still gorgeous. And very heavy and very large. And of course, as always guys, it always will tell you which side needs to go up. So it says bottom. So let's get this guy down here like that. And there it says top. And also the logo, the Pure Arts logo will be up here and that'll be the, uh, that'll be the top as well. I'll just cut the tape off. I am so excited for you guys to see this piece. I'm telling you, I've seen the prototype. We've got a prototype here at the office and the base is just mind blowing. So, First off, I want you guys to check this out. The way that they package the base, there's actually a separate layered carton inside the main foam carton. So we're gonna lift this off and you'll see what I mean. There you go, see it's in here. So let's just take this out. All right, so as you can see, there's a whole other clamshell, a foam clamshell inside. And it's got one, two, three, four layers to it. And this is, you know, 90% of the base, the very delicate animus pieces are in here. So all this extra protection just to make sure these pieces uh, make it intact. Otherwise, there'd be no way to get this to you in one piece. So we've made sure we've really tested this extensive drop testing on this piece to make sure it survives. Because like I said, a lot of delicate pieces and we wanted to make sure we don't really have any issues with this guy breaking uh, in transit. So what we'll do for now is we're gonna put this piece aside and we'll get the main statue out and then we'll start opening this and uh, checking out the pieces inside. So let's put this guy aside. All right guys, here we go. Let's get the main pieces out. So we'll take out any little small pieces first. So we've got, uh, we've got an arm over here. Okay, we've got the arm with the hidden blade. So let's put that aside right here. And we've got some Animus effects over here unpack these very delicate so just be careful when you unpack them and each one has its own little compartment in the foam so they're super well protected and each one's wrapped up let's get this guy out here there's another one there it's really cool it's like a turquoise transparent resin uh, it's actually poly resin really really neat and of course that's what gives it the whole light up effect when you turn on the leds that are in the base uh, okay and then all right, then there's one more, and of course that's his light up arm right here. There we go, another hidden blade. Put that aside right there. All right, so the base comes in two primary sections, okay? So you've got the main base that the statue will sit on, that Ezio sits on, that also contains the batteries, and then there's the backing. So first up, we'll take out the main base which is easily the heaviest piece in the entire kit here. And uh, you can check out that base. So this is 100, number 100 of 2,500. So that is limited edition to 2,500 pieces. And uh, we got the beautiful art base on here. So let's put this guy down here. 
go. Very nice. And on the back, as always, I like to add the batteries before we start putting everything together. So this time on the back, it's really interesting. The battery door cover isn't a clip, it's just a magnet. So you don't have to worry about the clip breaking off uh, or anything like that. It just pops on there with a magnet just like that. Nice and easy. And it uses six uh, AA batteries. So we'll go ahead and put those batteries in now and uh, we won't have to worry about it once we've got the statue sitting on here. All right, batteries are in. Just pops in place with that. All right, once the batteries are in, though, of course the fun game is figuring out where is the on button. And on this guy, the thing is tricky. There's like rocks everywhere. So it's a bit of a guesswork, but it's actually right here on the front. Uh, it's a button that's hidden right down here and the lights are working. So uh, we know we're good to go. All right, let's get the rest of the base on. All right, I'm gonna very gently take out the main backing. It is a large piece. And guys, I mean, you can see how gigantic this is, right? It's just a huge piece. By the way, I'm hoping you guys recognize what this base is from. This is actually from the Florence Cathedral, uh, which in the game during the Italian Renaissance was known as the uh, Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. So that is uh, the Florence Cathedral piece. Um, but wait till you see when we put the Atomus effects on here, it's gonna be crazy. All right, the last main piece, of course, is Mr. Ezio himself. Let's very carefully get him out of here. Just be careful when you're pulling off the tissue paper that there's nothing stuck against the little animus effects. You don't want to have any issues with that. All right, let's get them on here. And it's pretty easy. It's just a peg on the back and the front foot just rests on here. That's all there is to it. I mean, you can see it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And wow, guys, let me just turn this thing around. Check out the detailing on this craziness. The Animus effect on the cape is just wow. Um, and you can see the material that was used for this. It's a new material that's even more flexible. So you can see here just how much flex this has. So this has lots of movement. So if you hit it by accident, it doesn't go flying off. You can see that, look at the movement that's on these things. So um, that adds to the protection uh, during transport. Um, and I mean, overall, wow, this looks so impressive, guys. Absolutely beautiful. The sculpt on this is incredibly detailed. There's all the little glyphs and the little animus special effects that are just uh, carved individually into the cape. It's just this like pixelation effect. It's absolutely amazing. The synchronization effect is really cool. You've got the same thing all over the base and that'll blend in into all the other animus pieces we're about to add, all right? So let's get to the next part. Let's open up that little box and see all the cool stuff inside. Here we go, guys. All right, so let's open this up. Um, don't worry about which way to open this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's a trade system. Everything is well protected. So if you turn it upside down, it's not a big deal. So let's open it up. There's one. Okay. Guys, look, oh wow. Look at the detailing on this piece. It is just incredible. The sculpt, I don't even want to think about how long it took to sculpt this, seriously. If you guys see this in person, you're gonna look at the close-ups that we're gonna have uh, during the video, at the end of the video, you're gonna see just how insanely detailed this thing is. Let me turn it this way. So there's a pin right here, so that'll lock into the pin. And uh, be aware, there is a connection for the lights. So these two little pins that stick up. So you'll know whether this goes this way or this way, because you're gonna line up the little connector that's right here. So we just go ahead and pop that in. And that's it, fits on just like that. All right. So we got this little guy here. We'll put that aside for the end. We'll put all any little animus effect pieces we'll put towards the end because the big pieces need to be need to be in and then the little pieces connect on top of that. So don't worry too much about that. All right, let's get the next piece of the clamshell open here. There we go. Okay. All right, another big piece. And this guy, okay, so this one here, this is the slotted edge with a large connector right here. That actually goes on this side of the statue right here. So that guy goes right in like this. And you just gotta be careful, you know, make sure you don't smack these together. Just watch what you're doing until they connect together. There you go, you're good. Already you can see how just, this base is just amazing. 
<laughs> I'm just geeking out over this base. It's so good. All right, we've got some more small animus pieces, so we'll take these out and set them aside. Just more little guys like this. And every single one is that is that translucent polyresin with the incredible details on it. All right, and uh, one more big piece. And of course, this will be the left-hand side. There we go. All right, let's get this on here. And this is just a keyed pin system. And we're just gonna carefully put that in here. And you might, like, in this particular case, just because of the way resin sets and flexes and things like that, sometimes you have to put a little bit of pressure. So we're gonna carefully put some pressure in here and we're just gonna click it in place like that. There we go, we're done. Wow, okay. Oh, and we got one more little piece right here. There we go. All right, that is it. Okay, now let's get some of these pieces connected. So the keying, each one is keyed differently. So you just line up the, the pegs properly. There's one. This guy goes here. So, wow, this thing is so cool. All right, let's see. This guy here looks like he belongs right there. Yeah. All right, this guy here, half circle. There we go. Uh, this is kind of like a square. Let's see if we can figure out where that guy hides. Oh, right there. Back here. Like I said, you got to take your time. Look for the look for the proper spots. Get the right angle. There we go. And last but not least, oh, I know what this one is. Okay, so this guy here is a little tricky. You're wondering he doesn't have a key. Where does that go? Aha, it actually goes on his arm. So this is a battery, uh, sorry, this is a magnet. I think there we go. That just clicks on place like that. And that's what covers the battery. Uh, there's three of these batteries and uh, the little switch is just right in front of the battery door and you turn it on and that'll light that up. And when you apply the light, you got the animus effect. All right, and of course the batteries that are in here, there's three of them. It's the same batteries that are in Bayek. These are LR1130 uh, batteries. You can buy them at a dollar store or a hardware store. They're super inexpensive. Uh, and those go in here. Now these ones unfortunately are a little bit drained, um, but that's all right. All right, so pop that in place. Let's go ahead and get his arm in here. There we go. And turn him over here. There you go. There we go, guys. That is an incredible, incredible statue. The, the detail on this is just insane. And I mean, check out the base. Look at the back of this base. And even the other side of it that you would never look at has got the same level of detail as the front. Absolutely incredible. Nope. Oh. Just found one more little little piece here. Wait a minute, we're missing a piece. We've got to figure out where this guy goes. Oh, there it is, right up here. We've got one more little piece, and he just goes in the front. There you go. Okay, we're good. All right, now he's done. Now he's done. All right, moment of truth. Let's light him up. There we go. Oh. So it's all white LEDs, but of course, because it's this turquoise resin, everything comes out looking turquoise. Uh, incredible statue. Of course, this is a quarter scale, uh, quarter scale statue. And the details on this are absolutely amazing. Let me go on the other side here, I'll check this out. Um, one of the things that's really cool is the amount of textures that are used for the clothing. The clothing is so incredibly realistic. It's unbelievable. Pure Arts has its own patent way of sculpting and creating realistic clothing. That's why we are pretty much number one when it comes to the realistic clothing patterns when working with resin. And it shows because everything looks incredibly realistic. It's unbelievable and extremely detailed. I mean, just the belt buckle and the sash and everything, um, all the little buckles on the boots and everything. I mean, it's just unbelievable. 
gorgeous, gorgeous statue, guys. Um, this is actually available right now on purearts.com. You can pre-order this, but it's actually gonna be shipping very, very soon. This is shipping in November, 2020. So if you were to order this now, you, it'll be shipping out within a few weeks. So guys, please go check it out on purearts.com. You can get all the details, you can get video, uh, you can get all the photos. And uh, thank you so much. Again, don't forget, if you like the video, if you like these unboxings, make sure you destroy that like button. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification. You'll, you'll always know when we do more of these unboxings. We're gonna try and do them every, every, once every week, once every couple of weeks. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the review and we will see you on the next video. Take care.